Today we'll explore the six DOF trajectory simulation capability in Flightstream. Here I have a simple pod geometry that I've created in OpenVSP. If I click on the component in the first tab, there's a density input box. In this example, I'm using SI units, so I'll set a density of 500 kilograms per meter cubed. Now let's open the mass properties tool under the analysis tab. This tool will calculate the mass properties of your component by slicing and then integrating the slices to estimate the mass properties. Here I'll set 40 slices, which should be more than enough to resolve my component. After I click Compute, I get the total mass, the CG location, and the product of inertia matrix. I'll only need the diagonal components for my analysis. Now back in Flightstream, we can see my geometry already set up. I have a flying wing type aircraft and a pod beneath the right wing. I also have a new coordinate system at the CG location estimated by OpenVSP. To enable motions, I need to switch my solver to unsteady. You'll have to iterate on the time increment to find what best suits your needs. However, a good first guess is the time it takes for one core length of your vehicle to elapse, given the free stream velocity. Now we can create a new 6 off motion. Right-click, then Edit to open the dialog. In this window, we'll set up several attributes to define our 6 off trajectory. First, select the coordinate system that this motion definition is based in. All velocity and acceleration vectors are then applied within this coordinate system. You can specify the physical time at which the motion is started. This can be used to stagger different motion starts. Then specify the mass of the geometry component in kilograms. This is obtained from our OpenVSP analysis. We can then specify the products of inertia, again from our OpenVSP analysis. Make sure to specify the gravity vector applied in the global coordinate system. You can also specify initial translational and angular velocities here, and check this box to enable aerodynamic forces from symmetry boundary conditions. Use this feature when simulating a longitudinal 3 degree of freedom simulation. Now let's specify the boundaries on which to calculate the aerodynamic loads, a coordinate system that will translate with those loads. We can also specify external forces here. I will show an example of this in another video. This last button allows the user to enable or disable various 6 off parameters. This can be used to constrain the vehicle in certain degrees of freedom, for example when modeling a vehicle trim stability analysis. Click Done to apply. Now we'll initialize and run the simulation. You can view the 6 off trajectory variables in the plots window. Here we can see all the calculated values of the 6 off trajectory including the forces and moments. I'll turn all of these off, except the X, Y, and Z components, to better view the trajectory. Here we can see how drag affects the X translation, and acceleration affects the Z translation. The solver window will automatically update to show the displacement of the component over time. If you have any questions or suggestions for future tutorials, feel free to leave a comment on this video, or you can also contact us directly at researchinflight.com.